Okay, uh, so w welcome back. Hopefully um, you have now attempted the uh, example number two and you are watching this just to um, check your answers and also make sure that you use the correct approach. So I'm going to go back to the calculator now. Uh, since I've created a new document, all I'm going to do is go control, add a page, and I'm going to add a graphing page so that I can uh, have a new set of axes in order to graph my new function. So I'm going to type in negative 2x squared. Of course, I'll use the negative sign this time. Minus 2x squared uh, plus 12x uh, minus 9. Hit enter. Uh, this time what you can see is our parabola opens down. Once again, our turning point is off the graph. And so uh, this time I'll show you using the window. So I'm going to go to window zoom. Uh, you, Like I said before, you can use the zoom out all the window settings. So I'll use the zoom out uh, and that should give me uh, enough uh, of a view. Uh, might be a little bit um, congested um, and so we can modify that as well by just grabbing the, um, the x-axis um, and of course you can also slide it down by grabbing in the area although that's a little bit harder to do uh, with the, with the uh, cursor pad. Okay, so I'm just going to move my label out of the way. Um, and what I'm looking for uh, in this particular case uh, is the same things. And so I'm just going to slide that up a little bit uh, and just modify my axes. I want to make sure that I can also see the y-intercept, the x-intercepts, and the turning point because those are going to be the key uh, pieces of the graph. Okay. And so, once again, menu, I want to use the Analyze Graph. In this case, I'm looking for a maximum value because the graph opens down. Go to the left, point to the right, and there we have our maximum value of 3.9. Uh, I want to find my y-intercept. Hopefully, you realize at this point that the y-intercept can be obtained simply from the function itself. It's going to be at minus 9 when the value of x is 0. Uh, you can, of course, use the trace function for this, or indeed, uh, you can uh, use the table as I showed you before. Okay, first I'll take care of the uh, x-intercept, so I'm going to analyze graph, look for a zero, point to the left, point to the right, and there's my first zero. This time you'll see that it's not producing uh, a whole number, in fact, it's a decimal. This is quite common with parabolas, uh, and so 5.12. And I'm going to go through the same process, analyze the graph, find a zero, go a point to the left, and then a point to the right of the zero. There is my second zero. I'm just going to slide that over and up so it's a little bit clearer. So 0.879 is my one uh, uh, x-intercept. The other x-intercept is 5.12. Uh, my y-intercept is at minus 9 again. You can use the trace function for that. Uh, and so I'm going to use the trace function combined with the uh, cursor keys. And so I'll just keep going until we get right there to the y-intercept. And as I mentioned before, you must hit enter and it will then paste in a label for you. And you then need to get rid of the trace by hitting escape. And there we have our y-intercept, uh, our x-intercepts and our maximum turning point. Uh, and then if we turn our attention now to the other questions, does it have a maximum or minimum? Clearly that's a maximum. What is the domain and the range of the function? So once again, let me just take a quick picture of that. Uh, so I can paste that in. And so I'll just move that down to where I want it. and just enlarge that a little bit and I'll now be able to write on it and so uh, once again we have an axis of symmetry uh, which has got an equation of x equals 3 our function name is over there we of course have a maximum uh, the domain of the function is uh, all numbers and uh, our range is y less than or equal to, in this case, 
and our maximum y value is 9 and that uh, concludes the uh, example on how to use your calculator you should now turn your attention to uh, the worksheet um, which gives you some more examples of uh, graphs that you have to find all the missing pieces for.